Hello tribe, good morning, good afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. For me, it's morning time. You probably can hear it from my voice. I'm on my first tea and coffee. Yes, I'm a weirdo, I drink two at the same time. And let's freaking go. So pile number one is on your left, pile number three is on your right, and let's check in what you can expect happening the next week, week and a half. See you there. Hey my people, pile number one, let's see what is up energetically first, next week, week and a half. Some of you might be going through this right now. Let me put this back. Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. You know what's interesting? And I feel like this would be really beneficial. Let me go back to the history of my YouTube. Just before this reading, someone commented on my old video that is called, pick a card, why are you here? In brackets, cancel fear to strive in your mission. And it's an old video from 2019. And I really think that this would be beneficial for you to look at if you feel drawn to. And there in the intro, I talk a little bit about the mission, about a path, because I feel like here in the Forge Don't Follow the next week, you're looking literally at the place where you want to be. And you're thinking about how do I bridge the gap between where I'm at right now and where I want to be, because she's super focused on that land on the other side. Not to say that where she's at is a bad situation, maybe for some of you it is, um, but she's really focused on her future. And in order for you to find a way to the other side, no one has forged a path for you. You are the one who's forging the path. You are the one who's going to be building that bridge. You are the one who's taking control. So the next week you may expect a situation where you're being asked to be a leader in your job, in your mission, in your relationships. Okay, let's see. I want to clarify this card. Pile number one, people. What do we need to know about this card more specifically for you? I'm seeing a student and teacher situation here. At one point you were a student, but next week you're supposed to be a teacher, a leader. Uh, you're being asked to step in those shoes. Especially if you work in, in a field that somehow guides other people, shows them the way. Um, you act as an example, as inspiration. You're basically going to be sway towards that path even if you have no idea what i'm talking about just yet so you may, may receive either a download a light bulb moment in your head i know exactly how i'm going to forge that path i know exactly how to be a better leader i know exactly what other people need and um, i remember when i was in their shoes i needed that kind of person to lead me what is a good leader a boss and a leader are two different people. Leader leads by example. Boss tends to boss people around. Not every boss is a good leader. That's the conversation that I'm seeing you having in your own head. And it seems like you're very focused on your mission, pile number one. That's why I mentioned that video for you. So if you'd like to look back at that video from 15 of December, 2019, damn, the time flies. Soon it's gonna be 2023. And it seems like I started not that long ago. <laughs> okay, let's see. What is the highlight of the next week, week and a half? Pile number one, people. What is the highlight? Thank you. Wow. You have the tower. You have the knight of coins. Okay. Um, the way I'm reading these two, especially in this deck, is that we don't have to wait around anymore. 
um, especially if you felt like you kept doing the same thing like I see this um, woman right here she's been working in it in a job or working on something it doesn't necessarily have to be a job <clears throat> for a while she even got pregnant right and she's still she's still doing the same thing um, not to say that she doesn't like it she does feel quite peaceful there but I'm looking at this horse over here and it feels like I want to move forward so something that you spend a lot of time on it feels like it may be changing you may expect um, I don't know why I heard a whirlwind encounter um, for other people you may start noticing how life is asking you to make big changes with a tower card over here as if i'm feeling that someone says i've been very patient all this time but i feel like it's time to make a change i've been very patient very determined but i feel like i need a new surge of energy so let's see in which area of life are we experiencing this pile number one people you want to do better you want to earn more or you want a, a more um, caring or safer emotionally financially relationship Next week, you're being asked to step into the queen or the king energy instead of the page. In which area of life are we seeing this shift, pile number one? Yeah, then someone was um, beating the dead horse, literally. That's the vibe here. Someone may... Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Someone may hear news... That isn't necessarily pleasant, but it almost feels like it's necessary here to break that glass. This isn't serving people any, uh, anymore. And I'm looking at the Aquarius over here. It feels like there's gonna be a situation where someone's going to act out of their authenticity. Someone's going to be seen for who they are. And in some situations, someone might not like it. But it's really good to see people for who they truly are. And especially if you felt weird about one person or if you were not certain about them. Um, it's going to be shown to you the next week, week and a half. No more of that, okay? No more of that. Don't give too much to people you're not convinced about okay what is your focus point for your highest good next week we can have what is your focus point for your highest good next week we can have you're probably gonna get uh, more rest than before you're not Prioritizing something else outside of you or someone else outside of you. Anyone who was waiting for news uh, from um, an answer, um, from doctor, from anything that's connected to health, um, you're going to be happy of what you are hearing. Even if you're dealing with someone who maybe has any health issues, it seems like you're going to receive good news. Um, now, I really feel like, I want to clarify this. Financial issue that was connected maybe to someone else or your own spending habits. It's being improved. Yeah, the page of pentacles. The eight of swords that kept you in a limbo or made you feel like you are not moving, you're not progressing. And next week, week and a half, it's like you're inviting resources into your life. 
and somehow you're inviting resources through your throat chakra. Speaking about it, writing, ex expressing your knowledge, your expertise. Or calling someone out because I literally see um, calling someone out. Someone is calling someone out. That someone wasn't fair or someone isn't fair. And that's why that um, glass is breaking over here. Someone is not afraid to call someone out for their behavior that was not fair towards someone else. Okay. Let's see. What do we need to know about our relationships? Platonic, romantic. What do we need to know about our relationships? Platonic, romantic. Someone might be expecting a child. Either this is you or someone from your circle. Platonic romantic, let's see. Next week is all about news. Fresh information coming through. Hearing back from people you haven't heard back from. Getting closure. Bottom of the deck, we have the hero fund. It's a really good week uh, when it comes to relationships. It feels like you're in your power. You're sitting in your power here. You may feel like you want to maybe even travel with someone. But to be honest, I feel like some of you are traveling solo. And listen, I feel like every single person should try going on vacation or traveling obviously not to unsafe countries use discernment you grown-ups um solo because that's when you really embrace the journey there are no distractions not that people um, that you love are distractions but you know what i mean when you're walking on your own you walk in differently than you walk in with someone chit-chatting. You can actually look around. You can inhale the air and really feel its energy. So someone might be even thinking about traveling solo or traveling towards someone. Next week is big when it comes to relationship with self or with other people and travel. So it would be a really good week to travel. Some of you might be taking your pets. Some of you might be meeting a friend. Okay. But other people see in a really high regard the next week, week and a half. They might even say something along the lines of, um, I wish I could do what you do. Or I wish I could do... I could, for example, go and travel solo like you do. And what you'd say back, you'd go, but you can. You're just not working towards making it happen because it might be uncomfortable. And I really think that you're acting the next week as an example or inspiration to other people. So expect people to come your way for advice, especially if you provide um, services. You might expect quite a lot of uh, clients, customers, patients uh, coming your way. And I'm having a feeling that they all may have a collective issue. So you will notice that overall, collectively, there is one issue that everyone might be dealing with. Um, that you will help them with. Or if you're selling a product, suddenly everyone wants that red or blue toned product um, and you have maybe 10 different colors of it. You're going to notice um, something is happening collectively the next week that is <laughs> that connects every single person um, around you. And it's going to be at first weird, I feel like, but the, the more you pay attention, the more you'll notice that. And I think it's going to be very beneficial for you, even yourself, to understand what we are going through as a human race. And we have waves when we connect and then we, we split to our individual experiences. Then we again meet, again, collective issue, 
<laughs> or maybe a high and then we split again on our journeys so next week journeys are important okay meeting friends or spending time with people that you love or even your own company is important travel is big here people want to be free people want to be detached but in a good way not in a toxic way where we build walls so high no one can come close to us i hope this made sense if you need extra content i have patreon if you'd like to join me there and thanks for being here bye for now hey try pile number two let's see what is up with you all next week week and a half you have the blue flame, we have um, the spontaneous awakening, activation, integration, time. So for a lot of people, what may happen, you might have a sensation in your physical body, specifically um, in your stomach, lower abdomen area. You may feel that you have some, especially women, may even mistaken this for a period cramp. Or overall just like a just a cramp pre-period cramp but what might be happening uh, you may be going through a spontaneous awakening when energy is moving from below your abdomen towards your throat chakra so pay attention to what your body is feeling the next week week and a half because some of you may experience energetic activation happening and um it's going to be quick okay um the most intense i have witnessed <laughs> the most intense example that i can give you is when someone literally and it was not a female it was a male who was experiencing this spontaneous awakening it just happened out of nowhere he fell on a couch and he was like it feels like i'm giving birth but the, something is moving upwards and i was like i know what it is so regardless of what sex you are you may experience something physically that gives you a hint to what is happening in your energy levels so let's dive deeper let's see pile number two so i want to see what is the reason of the spontaneous awakening here my group two what are we stepping our game in mm -hmm. okay flow some of you may experience this whilst having a massage it happens quite often actually i've seen it myself because my mom does massages holistic work two okay so i would even suggest people for group number two going for a massage or a spa day or spending time in water anything that affects your body in a good way okay so for some people floating in the water allows them to relax for other people going for massage whatever the case here because what we have over here we have east card and we have declutter um declutter for me speaks mostly to this card where you might be even getting rid of energy that is not yours next week week and a half or you've done that and you're gonna start feeling lighter the next week that integration takes place trigger statement in declutter card says i made so many mistakes maybe some of you have guilt that you carry and you're going to be able to let it all go everything you have done up to this point is leading you to where you need to be let go of the past and be here now ease card says trigger statement i have to make this work true statement i am at ease with life you need to ease your grip on life so that it can lead the way there is an outcome brighter than you can imagine I honestly feel like people through this energetic shift, they might be experiencing a purging situation. Some of you purging out the guilt that was trapped. And I specifically want to say uh, maybe guilt or shame that was trapped in the womb. This is not for all of you, but you know if I'm speaking to you. 
um, some of you might be releasing a need to over control everything in your life and you realize now that that's not good for you it works actually against you your body stiff you very stressed you feel anxious so through this energy shift we're able to feel much lighter than before some of you doing this work consciously just gonna be drawn your soul will be drawing you into some sort of maybe again massage therapy even visualization especially if you're trying to release an emotion that is trapped in you that you don't want to hold on to anymore or you want to forgive someone and you're looking for that forgiveness in your body and once you find it you expand it throughout your body and then you escalate that energetic shift i hope i'm making sense here let's go let me have a sip of coffee let's see what else we can got for next week we can have and i'm gonna be using the tarot of the angels what do we need to know about the blue flame for pile number two Yeah, this is big. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Wands. And the Four of Swords. I feel like for a lot of people, after this energetic shift, your sleep might start improving. Because you're purging something out of your system that was keeping you awake or was keeping you stiff. I'm seeing sti stiff muscles specifically. Because someone constantly thought that they have to defend themselves in situations where no one is attacking them in the first place. So there was some sort of past trauma that we are becoming better at dealing with the next week, week and a half. Now, this could be connected to an issue with a mother or mother image. This would be connected to a traumatic birth experience or traumatic sexual experience. This is a serious pile, pile number two. Next week, you're doing some serious work that is going to have long-lasting impact. It's time to shift things up. And I don't feel like it's going to require a lot of energy out of you in order to, for this to happen. It may even start happening first energetically and your consciousness then catches on and you add to it by doing some sort of work on your own. Mm -hmm. What do we need to know about finances and career for next week, week and a half? What do we need to know about finances and career? You're working quietly. <laughs> you might not want to share too much about your income or your finances to someone else. I don't know what's the reason. But some of you may be uh, not sharing about your plans or your goals before something happens, before something is solidified. Some of you might be thinking next week, week and a half, that you want to step into entrepreneur's shoes. You might be researching, you might be looking up other people's work. You might be watching videos on other entrepreneurs or other people's businesses, especially if you are interested to start your own. 
and it's like you're gathering information that you're not familiar with. You're not rushing it. You might have a job and you might um, start doing something on a side or you're going to be drawn to. Let's clarify the seven of swords here. Let me adjust the camera slightly. Mm -hmm. You might be keeping something on a down low. You might say no to one particular person or opportunity because you have another plan in your head. Mm -hmm. You might say no to one thing, but say yes to another. And you won't... It seems like someone doesn't want to offend the other person. That's why they're going to keep it at a down low. Mm -hmm. What is the advice here? What is the advice here? Choose your battles. When it comes to finances and career, choose your battles. Because when it comes to earning money, you gotta put in work and energy in anything that you do. Would you be working for someone else? Would you be working for yourself? So which battle is more pleasant to you? And I'm saying battle metaphorically here because I'm seeing the five of swords. Because you're going to have to put in work. You're going to have to maybe um, win over competition even. But choose your battles wisely. Not every battle has to be fought. Okay? Now, let's look at relationships. Would it be platonic, romantic? Let's see what cards want to talk about here. Let's talk about relationships. We have the King of Wands coming through. You have Strength. You have Four of Pentacles. Oh, okay. I get that. Six of Wands, and I want to clarify all these cards. King of Wands, Queen of Pen, uh, Queen of Sorry, Cups, Strength, Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Magician, and Six of Wands is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Give me a moment here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Uh -huh. It's like I'm seeing two people's stories the next week. So I'm going to just say someone, because I don't know where you stand, which person you are. I could put you in a box and say you are that king of wands, but I don't think I need to. When it comes to king of wands journey in the next week, it seems like someone is trying to, someone is not going to share their fire, um, their passion or their body and i'm talking sexual sexual uh, fire just with anyone we're seeing someone who who has a lot to give someone who's quite successful someone who is also financially safe and secure but this person is thinking the next week that you know what not everyone deserves my fire so they're very cautious about sharing themselves with other people. Now we're seeing another person who's somehow going to be interacting. We'll see how, because it feels like I need to just read these as journeys. We're seeing another person, the Queen of Pen um, I keep, keep wanting to say Pentacles. Maybe for some of you that is relatable. Queen of Cups, 
Um, and that Queen of Cups, she isn't afraid of competition in order to get what she wants. But she's still learning about her craft. She's still learning about what she's trying to create. She's still learning about the next steps, trying to find the next steps in order to get to where she wants to be. So she is experimenting. She is looking at what competition she's got. She's not comparing herself to others though. She's trying to learn from other people's mistakes in order to her, for her to somehow fast track in her journey. So I wanna see how these two people's journeys join. Why are we reading two people's journeys? What's happening between this king and the queen? Too many over here, but I'm gonna take the star card since it showed its face. Okay, so both of these people meet have similar vision. That's why there are paths. And that's that queen of pentacles. That's why I keep wanting to say that. That's why their paths cross. These two people might be connected through the queen of pentacles. So someone might introduce you to someone or through someone's maybe Instagram, you find this other person that you start following. It can be as simple as that. It doesn't have to be face to face. Let's see. That is somehow life changing. Let's see how for you. Okay. Someone's got influence when it comes to your businesses or when it comes to your family businesses, I'd say, even say, or what you're trying to create in order for you to have that foundation for generations to come, to leave heritage after you. So look around the next week, week and a half. Someone might be influential. You might want to take example from someone or you might want to take, because I'm seeing one person who is established and someone who is on the way. And they could use advice or they could use expertise from someone else. So it could be coming across someone online who's got really good tips, those tips that would be beneficial for you because not everything works for everyone, right? Um, you could be connected through your friends or family to someone and it sparks an idea in you or overall that connection somehow escalates your journey. You may be drawn to spending more time with family in the next week, week and a half. Especially um, if you are, if you have your own family, if you are married. Um, so maybe going on a trip, all of you spending quality time together, okay? That would be beneficial. So that's what I have. If you need extra content, if you want to join me on Patreon and for the rest of you, have a beautiful week. Bye for now. Hello, my people. Pile number three. Let's see what is up with you next week, week and a half. You've got deep cellular healing. Anyone has done any healing recently? You may start noticing the effects of it taking place next week week and a half those who have not just yet you may be very drawn to it next week week and a half specifically when it comes to your heart space okay you might be visiting a practitioner you might be doing it on your own time we have arcturus energy physical and emotional healing i want to clarify this and let me see which deck i want to use interesting i want to use the archetype deck i wouldn't usually Clarify with this deck, but I feel like it's needed here. What energy are you stepping into? Ooh, cards on the floor. One second. And I am looking at this one. It's split from the group. Let's see what we got. Apocalypsis. Okay, let's dive into this. Let me get a book out. And we're going to be looking at light and dark aspects of this card. Okay, 
When light, the unknown becomes known and guides you and guides the way. When dark, ni nihilism, probably butcher this, fatalism, hopelessness. Removing the veil of deception, especially those who experienced relationships in the past and maybe it was your pattern where there were lies, there were deception, maybe there was cheating. It feels like you were breaking out of the pattern and it feels generational. So you might even be looking at generational patterns next week, week and a half, and you are doing some sort of healing. Apocalypse indicates a particularly painful time, one that unfolds when two disparate dynamics occur simultaneously, pulling the psyche in seemingly opposing directions. So what I want to say with this, it feels like you are reconnecting your energy body to your physical body, your mind and your heart. The first is a lifting of the veil. This means truths that have been kept in the dark are revealed. You may even hear news next week. Seen and un unearthed, no matter how relieving it is to witness them come into the light, an element of despair and grief follows. The second dynamic is the regeneration that comes from the wreckage of the revealed truth. The old narrative breaks and a new story forms. Apocalypse's energy is similar to a forest fires, devastation for the sake of regeneration. The veil lifts and we see who and what has been hidden. From the nakedness of the truth, a child is born. Have faith in the process. Hold on to your center. Interesting, because we have a heart center. That is the only way. Whew, this is going to be... A very important week, week and a half. Let's see what this is connected to. What part of your life this is connected to. And cards only in pile number three are falling out of my hand. So it's like you're dropping something that you've been carrying with you that affected either you mentally, emotionally or physically or all of it together. You're not carrying it with you anymore. Okay, which area of your life is this connected to gloom and doubt? Yeah, something that has caused you quite a lot of, maybe even, there was a point, or maybe you're dealing with this now, where someone makes you question your own reality, and that is fucked up. So, I want to say it's like you're coming back to yourself. Or if it's not that intense, then you are realizing what your heart truly desires moving forward. And maybe you ditch in society expectations or people who were in your ear telling you what to do next, what you're supposed to be doing, how you're supposed to be living your life. And deep down you knew that it wasn't where you're supposed to be walking towards to. And you finally given in to your intuition. What area of life is improving next week, week and a half? What area of life is improving next week, week and a half? Relationship with either yourself or with a wise feminine in your life. Okay, which area is improving? Yeah. We're not as stressed or fearful anymore. We're not questioning ourselves that much because we trust our own decisions. So we step into a more confident version of self the next week, week and a half. And it's interesting how that all relates these two cards, lifting the veil, right? And it seems like we have an invisible veil over here. Um, connecting to your heart and if you look at this stone right here we can see through it at, in, in one spot so you finally see in some sort of clarity and this feels like a mist and the mist is clearing out and with that together the gloom which is the mist in the situation is being cleared out with that the stress and fear is fading does that make sense all right let's dive deeper let's see what energy is going to be birthed out of you next week what we can have what are you stepping into what are you stepping into the riddle Oof. loving that let me clarify this with the tarot of the angels and we're gonna peek into the book later down the line So 
solving a puzzle. You have six of swords, you have ten of cups, and you have the knight of swords. It, this energy feels like I'm finally going for what I want. Because that's where my happiness lies. Let me adjust the camera slightly. That's where my happiness lies. It seems like someone is solving some sort of a puzzle that makes them feel really, really happy. I can finally move forward. I can move on. Let's see, where is this knight of swords going towards to? Where is this knight of swords going towards to? You're learning how to say no and you're learning how not to be in this energy anymore. Where you felt maybe low, you felt a lack, you were not feeling that anymore. We are conquering it somehow. What is the advice here? What is the advice here? When it comes to waiting for opportunities, you are the one who is creating opportunities. You're not waiting around for someone else to provide to you. Um, you're not waiting around for someone to make you feel better. Um, you are understanding that no one is coming to save you and you are your own savior. And that's very empowering for you because the more you step into this net of source energy where you are taking action, you're going for what you want, the more you realize your potential and how powerful you really are. So you're stepping out of the five of pentacles energy. Yeah, you're literally inviting the wheel of fortune yourself. Okay, because you know that those opportunities belong to you. You just need to go and grab them with a justice card. Yeah, you might need some patience when, when seeing the full picture. But you're being protected on your way to financial or emotional stability. So a lot of you might be even stepping into a leadership role over here, especially in your jobs. Or if someone had a really difficult, but I don't want to say difficult because we can have difficult bosses and it's, and it's fine, right? Like we have to step up our game. It's not always a bad thing. Some people give us a kick in the ass. In this situation, it's different. It feels different. It feels like someone may have had a situation in their work, which was, it feels kind of like someone was bullying someone. And affecting their mental state so someone is finally standing up for themselves and saying i'm not taking this shit anymore it doesn't have to be necessarily in a job it can be in any relationship in your life i'm not taking this shit anymore i'm the queen of wands i'm not letting you in i'm not letting you affect me i've done enough of soul searching to realize why this was happening the way it was happening and you're highly protected universally here look at this world card you also protect your inner child from overburdening yourself from overworking yourself putting yourself last we're not doing this anymore so next week is all about honoring the self for you i want to say let's see Let's peek into the riddle. When light, a great awakening or aha moment. When dark, manipulation, deceit, trickery. Uh, trickery. We talked about this, right? So you kind of like, <laughs> you're not taking any shit. And in the same way this might not be your situation but you're witnessing it and you're stepping you're helping someone who might be going through this not to take any shit not to be in a manipulative situation to open their eyes to what is actually happening in front of them the puzzle the question the mystery 
When the riddle is present, one must stop searching for the right answer. It cannot be found, and ultimately, it is not important. Rather, there must be a shift fro from the literal to the metaphorical, from logic to mythic. You are thinking too small and literally about the situation. The riddle card appears when the energy is deep and mysterious, like the elusive wisdom in a Zen koan. Focusing harder won't do it. Neither will increased effort. Time, surrender, and humor are your only allies. What feels like the most pressing dilemma won't reveal its deeper wisdom for a long time. Eventually, you will learn a profound lesson from the riddle. For now, get comfortable with the limitations of your intellect and the reality of not knowing. It may, in fact, be the only reality there is. I like how this deck sometimes keeps you wondering. So you dive deeper, you don't get a straightforward answer all the time, and you start thinking or reviewing your life. Who am I? The only way to work with a riddle successfully is to not work. Some of you may be literally saying no to something. You're like, mm -mm, I'm taking a break. Mm -mm, I'm not taking this shit. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's see. What else is happening next week, week and a half? Literally, some of you might be changing careers, thinking about changing of path, changing a job. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. Someone kept saying yes to opportunities that were too small for them because they were afraid if I take this opportunity that is bigger, better, I will not be able to cope with it. But is that true? But is that true? Okay, what else? Strength. You know, you're stepping into your strength, that is for sure. And you're somehow taking those shitty past experiences with you because you're going to use that on your path forward. So not that you're looking at it as, oh my God, this was, that was terrible, or I'm such a victim. You're looking at it that is so actually beneficial where I'm going to go towards to because I can use this as my experience. I can give other people um, wisdom or advice how to come out of the other side. I carry my strength with me, I'm here. We have study, let me look at the in-between tarot. Mm -hmm. The victory to the suffragettes. Yeah, butchered it. Sorry. Nine of coins. Um, clarifying the study card. You may even want to do something on your own. You may want to take a seminar, a class, sign up for a college or university, but it feels like a second degree or a different path. Um, you have this entrepreneur spirit about you the next week, week and a half. So you are sitting down and you are trying to soak in information that's going to be beneficial for you moving forward. People might be starting businesses, their own businesses, setting everything up. Maybe helping other people with their businesses or their paths and using that experience from the past Mm -hmm. someone is being helped big time the next week week and a half i'm hearing the right person at the right time this might be you this might be someone else yeah and it feels like it's you're going to be overjoyed you know energetically feeling wise you know what this feels like someone who was in a job 
that was so bad for their mental, emotional state. They knew that they were not appreciated, they were bullied um, at work. It was so unfair. They call up a friend crying at work and they go, you know what, fuck it, I'm going on lunch and I'm never coming back. And then you two meet one another and you're overjoyed because that friend maybe was trying to tell you to quit uh, because they cared for you that much. And you both cheer, you go, oh my God, I never, I never done this in my life like that, but I couldn't take it anymore, I couldn't take another day. So obviously you need to know your contract and all of that jazz, but it feels like this energy is as intense as that. Fuck it. Actually, I've done it. I've done this in my life. <laughs> you want a bit of a story time? When I was still studying architecture, um, I had a um, part-time job in a bar, and I, and I really loved that place. But we had a new manager come in, and he was an addict, and I was supposed to be an assistant manager at that point. And he would fall asleep in the office after nights of partying. It was just a mess. And I was like, I'm not becoming an assistant manager in this place. I just need peace because I'm studying architecture. Whoever studied that, you know how much it takes out of you. You never stop fucking studying. And uh, so I found this job in a restaurant right next to my house. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be convenient. I won't have to travel. I'll save so much time. And... Uh, Listen, it's like I went back in time. The way that people were treated there, it was so fucked up. I've never seen it like that. Well, I've seen fucked up situations, but not on that level and that most of the bosses were like that. <laughs> and uh, I had to do, I think, a 11 or 12 hour shift that day. And we were kind of short of people. And the second part of a shift was supposed to be in a wedding venue where people would hire that venue. So it was very beautiful. Um, if you've been ever been in London, it's right in St. Catherine Docks. And uh, we were really short of people. And the boss, just before my lunch break, he again said something to me that didn't even make sense loud and there were a couple of customers close to me who heard that conversation and a man the customer comes to the bar and he goes is that your boss talking to you like this i was like yeah i don't know what's wrong with this place but man so the guy went upstairs to chase after the manager to tell him off and i was like i'm done with this shit man i have the, i think i worked there for like two, three months. <laughs> so I went on my break knowing that I have to uh, be a waitress in the wedding, knowing that they're short of people. I never fucking came back. Didn't even call them. My friend dropped off my uniform the next day with my fob, <laughs> key fob. <laughs> never fucking came back. So this, is, this reminds me of a situation like this. I'm done. You might be dealing with someone who is going through this. I am so done. It doesn't have to be so dramatic, but it feels like that escalates healing in someone, saying no to what has been impacting your health so much, you're like, I'm changing. Again, it doesn't have to be so dramatic. I split the deck, we have the Four of Swords, and this isn't between tarot, that's why we have a bit of both. We have the Four of Swords energy, right? And we have the Five of Swords energy right here. So. See what I mean? It's like you felt like you were constantly maybe attacked by a situation in your life or you will be feeling that and you're like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm not fighting back. I'm like, I'm done. I'm just going to lay down right here and get my well-deserved rest. I wouldn't be surprised if people who are not in the right jobs uh, might be calling in sick collectively the next week, week and a half, I'm telling you just to get some rest or um, rewind. Okay, anything else that we need to know about the next week, week and a half? Anything else that we need to know? Okay, and you're inviting a much better contract into your life. Would it be romantically? Would it be a business contract, right? Um, through this, you are strengthening 
another contract. Maybe this was influencing someone's relationship. Maybe someone was bringing stress home and it was fucking up their marriage or their relationship with other people, their relationship with themselves even. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, six of cups. You're stepping into a much more playful and much more zen state of mind because you're making a decision that you, you need to deal with something that you didn't want to deal with before. That's how you're stepping into this energy right here. Physical and emotional healing starts then. And this chariot card in between, strength card here, goes very well with the oracle card, okay? So if you'd like to, by the way, bottom of a deck, the world in between the fool, you're planting a new seed here. Someone finally believes in miracles again because where they were at before, they couldn't see that. So if you'd like to share, it would be really interesting to see if this is already happening whilst you're listening and how you're dealing with situation like this. Because I feel like when people share in the comments, it can really help someone else who might be going through it too. So if you want to share, um, you don't have to. If you need extra content, I have Patreon. If you'd like to, join me there and have a beautiful week. Bye for now.